It's that time of year. Last stop. Civilization. Oh yeah. Hear that? That's right. You don't. This is the road in. Going up there. Then we do this. Climbing. It's pretty steep. We came in from that way right there. All right, let's drive on. Wildlife everywhere, including this guy. Hmm. All right, bye-bye. So that's the Sun River, and we're gonna continue paralleling that north for a ways. So we've already come quite a ways through this stuff right here, and we're just now hitting the edge of the bob. We're gonna keep paralleling the sun. Rock and roll. Where's Eric? There he is. Boom! A lot of the stuff here doesn't even recognize human beings. <laughs> I mean, this guy. So, that island right there, I call Rebecca's Island. There's a story behind it. On the way out, we'll ford one of the rivers and camp there. Here we are. Boom. Water break. Because next hour, up the other way, there's no no water source, no stream. So, got to hydrate here. I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you my new pack. So, it's another Osprey. I had Osprey uh, 36, and this is now a 50. Um, the good thing about a bigger pack is you can put more stuff in it. The bad thing about a bigger pack is you can put more stuff in it. So, you got to be careful not to overpack because me personally, I don't want to go about 30, maximum 35 pounds dry. But this is a really, it's really nice so far. I haven't even trained with it. I just threw it on and I am going. But more to follow on this guy too. Boom, this here is home since 1999. Yep, home for the next two days anyway before we go to Rebecca's Island. It'll do, it'll do. What we're doing now is just throwing a line in the water. Seeing if we could uh, catch some breakfast here on the Sun River using a, uh, a dry fly small about 18 uh, white parachute fly and uh, not sure what they're hitting on yet we got to kind of feel it feel the waters out but you never know so I got a tight line here I switched over from dry fly to uh, bead head I don't know if you can see that guy, and I probably can't reel this in and talk to you at the same time, but I'm going to try. Looks like a cutthroat, hard to tell right now. Oh yeah, beautiful little cutty. Yep, beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Little guy, but really nice looking. I mean, beautiful. About 10 inches long. Now we've got to uh, be careful on how we set him free. So, fashioned a uh, figure four for a figure four deadfall. Pretty simple design, but very effective. And hair trigger. Hair trigger on that sucker. But seems like it's supporting weight pretty good. Now I gotta find a big, fat, flat rock. So there's ground squirrels all over this area. You can hear them. You can hear them chirping. So, this figure four deadfall is right amidst all of their uh, holes, they're little burrowing sites, and uh, yeah, now we just wait. The waiting game It's baited with a little bit of peanut butter. Boom! This is cold. Ooh. Ooh. That's perfection, right? Man, yeah, that's good.
Today we're moving out of this campsite going down to Rebecca's Island. <clears throat> um, it's, it should be a pretty easy movement. That's our totem, by the way. Found a bunch of uh, elk bones, a little carcass across the river. The uh, figure four deadfall trap is still up. So if it's still up, when we move out, we'll just go past it and knock it over. So we're not killing something and it's leaving it here to rot. Anyway, this is a cool campsite in that the river is right here and it's a great fishing spot. We slayed them pretty good yesterday. All six of us caught, so doing good. Anyway, more to follow. Ridding your campfire of debris and foil is basic dude stuff. We're heading back out today. Uh, I'm about an hour and a half in. Gonna take a break here quickly. And then my next checkpoint is the base of that spur there, which is about six kilometers, which means an hour and a half. Time, speed, and distance. Oh, snap. There's a golden eagle up there. <laughs> cool, I don't know if you can see him or not. Let's zoom in, shall we? Mm, oh, he's, he's tracking the other direction. So here we are at Rebecca's Island, so there's a stream that way, a river, and a river that way. They just, it, just, it just breaks, and we're in between both of these. Uh, we're going to set up camp right here, and uh, first thing first is uh, priorities of work. So we got to gather water, firewood, etc., and then we'll set up tents and such, and then go uh, catch some trout. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll. So here we are at Rebecca's Island. Yeah. Sun's going down. It's 9 p.m. Yep, and the sun's going down. It'll be late. It'll be light until about almost 11 because we're right in the edge of the time zone. So this is our little campsite right now. We got the uh, Sun River right there, and we have it right over there as well. Uh, we move out tomorrow for Gibson Reservoir. Oh yeah. So we're nearing the end of the 2023 Bob trip. Six of us went in this year. Of course, six are coming out as well. Civilization is that way. It was a good trip, productive. Caught a lot of trout, mostly cutthroat and rainbow. Did catch a bull as well. Uh, so sizes varied, but pretty good, pretty good. Um, and uh, a lot of lessons uh, learned, like, uh, you know, packing. There's, oh, you never get it right, you know, how you pack your stuff in. So, uh, anyway, I'll try to keep you guys posted and uh, put a lot of stuff in the notes. Uh, you got any questions? Hit me up. Woo! Rock and roll.